Hey there, this is from A to Disney. I'm Michelle. I'm joined with Maddie and Justin. And today we're going to be talking about the holidays at the park. And so the first question is, when you're at Disneyland Park, what do you most look forward to during the holidays? Am I starting? <laughs> yes, Maddie. I choose you to go first. <laughs> I kind of go after i think treats during the holidays because they have some pretty good i remember there was like some holiday cookies that they had that had it was like gingerbread but it was like the soft gingerbread it was pretty good and they have had a peppermint beignets yes those are good they just announced a new one it's hot cocoa beignets and then they drizzle like a chocolate sauce over it we need to have those in our <laughs> lives. <laughs> yes. Maddie, I assign you to make those. <laughs> no. <laughs> I begged. No. <laughs> what about you, Justin? Uh, for the holidays, probably the thing that gets me in the holiday spirit is just going down Main Street. They change the music, and then you got the lights. I mean, there's more lights, and so... That to me says it's Christmas, it's holidays when you walk down Main Street. Usually we go like in Thanksgiving or around there and then that's kind of like Christmas time can start now because I've right heard after it. the turkey. Yes. And they, use, they have the big honkin tree too. Big giant tree, yes. Yeah, I was going to say that, that huge tree. I love seeing that and taking pictures in front of it. Or taking pictures right down Main Street from, like, closer to the castle so that you get the tree and then all the lights lining up that around it. I also really love New Orleans Square. It's yeah. so pretty. It has all the colors I like, and I would stay there all day. <laughs> I think you would stay there all day, regardless of the time of year. <laughs> In New Orleans Square, probably. Haunted Mansion and Pirates. My favorite. When we were there for Dapper Days, they were already starting to put up New Orleans Square, and Melissa's like, where's Shelly and Mom Lee? <laughs> <laughs> That's where I love. I always take pictures anytime we're there during that time, and I have all of these unprinted pictures of <laughs> New Orleans Square and all the wreaths that I want to one day make and never do. <laughs> I think um, I always get pictures in front of Small World. I don't know why. Like, it's because it's gorgeous. That's like my go-to areas, Small World. Yeah, I like Small World all the day, but we will get to that in one moment. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any souvenirs you guys like to pick up during Christmas time? Maddie? Are we starting with me again? <laughs> You're right next to me, so well, I go in order of... <laughs> this isn't mine, but I do... I I have a snowman Mickey that I've gotten. Um, I have one that has a different design for Christmas time, like this. I, I like looking at the ornaments too, the ornament, but they have those all year round, so. The Christmas one? Yeah. They yeah just... There's a Christmas shop by Peter Pan that's always there. I did not know that. Yeah. And Probably because I never go down that way. Well, I don't never, but <laughs> <laughs> not as often as if I would if I had children with me. <laughs> <laughs> They have a lot of cool popcorn buckets this year. They have like Pluto and plaid and a giant or well, a tree and a does it light up? I don't know if it lights up. Cause I've seen some popcorn buckets that do light up, so it would be cool if they did. Like the tangled one from Tokyo Disney. Yes. <laughs> Go to Tokyo Disney. <laughs> <laughs> I want to one day. I don't know when. It's on the list with Disneyland Paris. Yes, I want to go <laughs> to Phantom Manor one day. It's pretty awesome. I watched the video and I'm like, 
That's my place. Uh-huh. <laughs> Did you watch Random Land just went to The Paris? Deegan? Yes. No, he just came back and there, he's got the new the new Phantom Manor video. Oh, I'm going to have to watch it again. Uh, did we... Let's go to you and what you like to live in souvenirs for the holidays. So, I think for us, it's just the ornaments. Like if you saw the video about our tree, a lot of those we picked up while we were at Disneyland. Like one of our favorites is the Buena Vista Street ornaments. That one is gorgeous. But then, like also when we went to Florida, we got the one that had the icons from each park and or we have a mini bow that I bought for Melissa when I was in Florida. And so I think that's the only Christmas stuff we have. Although <clears throat> looking at the merchandise, I really like there's a lot of spirit jerseys now for Christmas. And I need to get them aligned. Well, um, or the, watch videos. <laughs> the the Dis Disney stores usually have really good Christmas stuff too. So, oh, yeah. Like, I have a really cool blanket at home that's a Christmas blanket that I got from there, and it's very old. Oh, the, old well, the kind of patchy one? Yeah. Yeah, so, I like that one a lot. So if you can't go to Disneyland, If I'm cold, to I still it. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're always cold. <laughs> and I'm always cold. Yeah, uh, for me it's pins. I have a huge pin collection, so I always like to, whenever I'm in the park, either pick up one that is holiday, and I have some Halloween pins or Christmas pins, or something that uh, is recent, like I have, well, it's always recent, but I have tons of Star Wars pins. Um, but pins are a fun way, and if you don't buy a lot of them, then Pretty inexpensive. <laughs> you know, for me, a cheap thing is the maps. So I have some maps over there if you want to grab them. And so that's kind of a fun way to celebrate the holidays. I, I collect maps, so it's kind of fun to see all the different maps and what they do different. Um, this was from last year, but they're using the same design as, as this year. For this year. So it was just kind of fun. I like the castle. Well, and and I don't know how many pictures I have taken of the castle all decked out in these lights that make it look like it's snowy and icy and beautiful, like it's a nice castle. I have a lot of them. And <laughs> that's one of the things, taking pictures there, having the snow come down during, is it during the fireworks or the parade? I think there's just like a separate event where it's snowing. Oh, that's right, because they time them now, Yeah, I think. Like, yeah. you can get snow on Main Street, and then I think on the Rivers of America, it also snows. It's pretty awesome, because it's not cold, for one thing. <laughs> <laughs> Which is always good for me. <laughs> um, and uh, you still get kind of the Christmas fee filling with the snow. So how many Christmas pins do you think you have? I have at least five, I'm sure. Wow. I'm not sure I think if I have any, I don't know if I do. I have a Tinkerbell one. I have one with Mickey and Minnie. And some others that we can't <laughs> think of. There's like one that's like a snowflake. But well, that's cool. I think I have more Halloween. <gasps> yeah, yours is more Halloween. Yeah. Which is weird because I'm usually the dark one. Because <laughs> all my po my one popcorn bucket is the Haunted Mansion anniversary. <laughs> I think my pens are just generic Disneyland or Walt. Yeah, I have one that's is it the fiftieth anniversary one of the park. Maybe not fifty. Maybe it's sixty. It's the Diamond anniversary. Yeah, it's the sixty. Sixty. It's very pretty. It sparkles a lot. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. So, what do you guys think of the holiday changes to the rides? Do you like them? Do you 
have a favorite? Well, I'm probably the outlier here. I like I like Haunted Mansion both ways. But you like Halloween better. But I don't I don't <laughs> think I like it better. But if I'm going during Halloween or Christmas, I'm I I have to see it that way. Like it's it's very traditional. <laughs> it's not traditional. <laughs> it's, not traditional. It, it's Maddie's tradition. <laughs> uh, I am against it, but I don't hate it. If that makes sense. <laughs> I like it, but if I'm going to go to the Haunted Mansion, <coughs> I want to see the Haunted Mansion. I don't want to see Nightmare Before Christmas. So do that somewhere else and I'll love it, but <laughs> not on my Haunted Mansion. <laughs> there is cool in- integrations, though, where it's kind of like it a is, crossover. It is very cool. Like when Madame Leota, they talk about how Jack gave her those those tarot cards for the Christmas gifts it I mean it is very inno- innovative I just like it a little more creepier and it's so bright and colorful in there it I don't get the same sense of haunted <laughs> but it's cheery haunted it's, cheery haunted. <laughs> it's the kind of haunted mansion you can bring your kids to <laughs> and it's cool that they do the gingerbread is different every year. They yes. Get different gingerbread. Every that year. is worth, but again, they can put it in a store and it would still be cool. <laughs> Except for the one that they did for the Haunted Mansion anniversary. That's this one right now, right? Uh-huh. That one is super awesome. Maybe they should just like do it every other year. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny because I saw a poll on Twitter asking what people like better, the original or the Haunted Mansion Holiday, and they're like, it was like 75% the original, but 25% the other one. But yet the lines The were lines so long. do get astronomical during that time. Well, I, I think that, like, you can like something and have it be different every now and then. Like, I don't, I think it's good to have something change up every now well, and then. Not that I have any say, but if Disneyland is taking suggestions, leave the Haunted Mansion for Halloween and then change it for the holidays. Yeah, but all the people from Nightmare Before Christmas are from Halloween Town. Yes. <laughs> but it's during Christmas. <laughs> They're always in Halloween. <laughs> that would mean they'd have to keep it up all year round. <laughs> or they just switch it right after Halloween. Right after Halloween. Because that's when, <laughs> when the movie starts. Start. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just, you know, pay people over time. <laughs> I don't think they could do it. Maybe take a week or two. And then open it up. Um, just because spook factor, it's not the same. And if you're going for Halloween, I think you want it, you want to be a little spooky. And then for Christmas, less spooky. Imagine holidays, because it's a cheery haunted. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll be interesting because they're closing Haunted Mansion for at least two months from what I hear and they're like completely redoing it and they're redoing it? I don't know if they're renovating. redoing it or if they're just renovating like doing their big overhaul that they usually do. The cleaning and when is that supposed redoing to their their uh, glue gun cobwebs. <laughs> <laughs> that starts after the holidays I think like January 6th or 7th Right. And it's supposed to be closed for at least two months. Well, it's usually closed for a while after. They've been pretty quick. Like, yeah, it's like a week and then they're back. But Really? Because I remember going in the past and it wouldn't be open until late February after the holidays. 
Well, I think Disneyland has become like when we first started going, it 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 was it. I don't think it was that big. So I think they, I think when it comes to those renovations, they probably want to get it done as quickly as possible because they know people are expecting it to be. Yeah, it is gotten. It has gotten much more crowded. People love their Disneyland now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yeah. it's just more people on Earth. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yep. What do you think, Justin? Of the holiday changes, do you have a favorite? Uh, holiday favorite is Small World Holiday. That's my favorite too. Um, I think. Uh, between the regular Small World Holiday and Small World Holiday, I think I like Small World Holiday better. I, I would be okay if they kept it all year round. Just because it's kind of the opposite reason for Haunted Mansion. I love how bright it is, how beautiful it is, all the different white and at the end. and uh, The end scene where they had the extra lights mm -hmm. where it was already bright, yeah. Yeah. But again, since they're closing, they're redoing Haunted Mansion, they're usually close. Small World. Small World. That doesn't make sense. I think they're going to keep Small World open until like the 20th of Probably. January. So it's going to be way longer. Which is well, usually when we take down our tree. <laughs> <laughs> so just, they're just like us. <laughs> Well, don't, isn't that like changeover a lot easier to do though? What do you think? The small world? Yeah, compared to the Haunted Mansion holiday. Probably, because it's just decorations. There's not really, I you mean, know, there's a couple big pieces, but for the most part, it's just lights and garland and that sort of stuff. Because especially like in the Haunted Mansion, like, the room with the where the bride usually is is almost like completely different. Yeah, which is why it's so the reason. <laughs> Black Widow Bride for Spook Factor, great. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a Black Widow Bride. <laughs> yeah, I, we do not endorse that. <laughs> no constant hatchways in the future, please. <laughs> I think that would be easier to take apart because you're just like taking one thing, putting it away, putting another thing That's back. True. Where the one you're like still keeping stuff and working around it. Like the busts. Because do they switch out the busts with the pumpkin? Yeah, pumpkin, they're the pumpkins, yeah. Or do you think they put a pumpkin over? <laughs> 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 you would think they would just like Oh, we want to preserve this, so let's I, put that away. Yeah, I always wondered how they did that because they switch out the graveyard caretaker with Jack and Zero. And I just wonder, is there like a frame and then they can just... <laughs> There's probably just like a little post where they just put them on a little yeah. stand. I think Jack is probably a little bit bigger than the caretaker. He Taller at least. Yeah. Because he's got them spindly legs. They're probably like same space. Yeah. Like probably where the wires all go is the same. I would think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, anything else we want to add before we close this podcast? Uh, probably just that. The holiday holiday time is probably my favorite time. Um, we didn't get to go during this year, and we're regretting it. And we're still like in the back of our minds saying, "We should go. We should go." I had a very strong urge to just <laughs> hit I fifteen and keep going while I reach <laughs> <laughs> because it's cold here. My work is stressful, and where do you go <laughs> to escape? <laughs> to escape, and you go to the wonderful Disneyland. <laughs> we could still go. There's nothing stopping us. 
Uh, Besides my <laughs> Do re me. Yeah. That's work. <laughs> Maddie cannot leave until January. <laughs> but Rise of the Resistance is coming. You gonna come with us? Come with me? I, I have a meeting on the fifteenth. When does it open? I think the seventeenth. If it opens the seventeenth, then I'll be the like, Friday? see you guys. You're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we... Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I would like to. I, I've i been very... I've had to, like... As I'm going through YouTube, I've had to, like, just, like, press down when I see a video on it. Because there's... I don't want to be spoiled on it. <laughs> yeah, so. I haven't... I've purposely not seen anything on it. Um, Millennium Falcon ride. I know a lot of people said they either loved it or hated it, but I, I loved it because you feel like you're in a Star Wars movie and that has been my dream. <laughs> <laughs> Your dreams come true. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I also have not been watching the videos. I usually do, but for some reason there's like some, there's like hype around, around it for some reason. So I really want to go. I've heard it's doing really well in Florida and yeah. the times to go see it, like you got to go get a boarding pass, they call it, and you have to be there way early in the morning and it sells out. Well, it wouldn't be our first all-nighter <laughs> driving to Disneyland and going to Disneyland that morning. We drive the day before, we go, then we come back. Yeah. I'm, if, if it's on the 17th, I can probably wing it because there's a big meeting on the 15th. Oh. Not that you guys care. <laughs> <laughs> there's meetings and bills to pay. No! Why can't I just go to Disneyland? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. If you wanting a few people Disneyland to live there and just offer an experience like that, um, and, <laughs> and pay our bills. And pay our bills. <laughs> it would be awesome. I think I would like to stay over Pirates because that's probably my second favorite ride next to yeah. Pirates or Quantum mm -hmm. Imagine. But... And you could see it from the window. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maddie, do you have anything? Um, no. <laughs> well then we'll wrap this up and remember whether at the park or at home make every day a disney day bye, bye. happy holidays bye.